Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and right now I want to talk about arenas. Currently, the current challenge in arena is single target DPS, so naturally that means you're going to see a lot of Valyrias, a lot of Silas's, Hexes, uh, Salazar's and uh, a lot of uh, very good single target DPS. So. What I will uh, want to do in this video is showcase my lineup, uh, help you copy it if you want, and also present what my lineup is vulnerable to, so you keep that in mind as well. So, uh, yeah, my lineup is composed of Torador, Valyria, Hex, um, Dolores, and Elwin. Uh, I found that without having a Silas, uh, this is the best lineup that I can create. And um, it's focused mainly on um, providing a lot of buffs, a lot of buff for Valyria and Hex, but mainly Valyria. Uh, Valyria has a lot of timings, especially in this uh, single target fight. And um, yeah, uh, Toridor is in an invigoration set. Um, I'm going to use the Invigoration buff on Valyria and time Hex is ultimate, Valyria is ultimate and Dolores is ultimate with, uh, with the um, amount of NPCs that are coming in. Uh, you see here an Elowin and you're wondering why is an Elowin here uh, when you want a lot of single target DPS. Well, I've seen that a lot of people have um, quite a lot of squishy single target DPS and even in Overlord that you see that I'm in right now, they don't necessarily gear it really well or time it really well uh, or time their ultimates really well. So sometimes it might be more useful to have a healer and a uh, frontline with um, Toridor and Valyria in order to help them survive with Elowin and get towards those uh, late um, fight, late arena fight mobs. Uh, rather than trying to burst everything down because the higher you get into the fight in each arena the most if the better defenses the monster is going to have the more HP they are going to have and as you well know uh, towards the end you're going to fight against very high hitting um, monsters that also have an area a damage area of effect so uh, having Elway to help them not only heal them but also um, provide a little bit of rage regen is going to be uh, very helpful if my Valyria doesn't die. Sometimes if my Valyria dies because uh, the monsters now scale up with uh, the PP that you're uh, again the PP of each player, so that you're fighting. So this is uh, this is to keep in mind. So as you can see, I'm currently in low Overlord. Uh, Overlord is at 1950. I'm currently at 2020. So um, yeah, I will uh, show you how I time everything and then I'll showcase what gear my characters have. So what you'll want to also be mindful about because my team is vulnerable to uh, 3 or 4 DPS combined, highly valued DPS like you see here. You see um, Silas, Bolivia and Salazar. If this team would uh, have also a very tanky frontline, that would be a problem, especially with Halloween here. So you want to watch out for three high value DP single target DPS combined with uh, tanky frontline. That's uh, that will going to be was going to make this composition my lineup pretty hard to uh, deal with the late fights. So. I, I've already won this fight here, but I'm gonna try and see how this works with this composition here and hopefully showcase how I managed to win. Alright, so this guy has a bit of a higher PP than me, but doesn't matter, I can still win. Uh, so we are going to focus on bringing Valeria first. So I, you put it down first, you time her ultimate, as soon as you sh see that ultimate pop, just hit it. And that's going to time pretty well with the 
next monster fight because she's going Valyria has a very high burst of DPS after her ultimate finishes and that's keeping it you play down X I place it a little bit early but it shouldn't matter uh, should a little bit late but it shouldn't matter you place down Dolores in here so it hits both Hex and Valyria you activate Hex's ultimate because Valyria is still charging hers see this is the difference of between Hex and Silas you want to keep that in mind because it's gonna help in your future fights. Now you ult with Valyria, you activate Dolores. I use Invigoration for Valyria. Hopefully she's not gonna die in uh, this fight. Uh, the opponent is pretty strong. Hex. You put down Elowin so Valeria survives. And if we are manage if we manage to tank this up alongside uh, you activate Dolores, you activate Toridor, so there is a little bit more CC. And if we manage to survive this next phase, I think we're going to win. Because he has a squishier team, but it remains to be seen. See? Salazar died. Now he has a problem, because we managed to keep our heroes alive. We activate Hex, I, I just, it, it doesn't matter at this point because we're gonna win anyway. So yeah, even though his, uh, his Silas was way better than my, than my Hex, we managed to win because we timed it better with Valyria and we helped her survive as you could see with Elowin and with the invigoration set of Toridor. So this is uh, this is what we are going for. So again, be mindful because if they have look at look at this composition here. He has Valyria Awakened 5, he has Toridor Awakened 1, he has uh, Salazar Awakened 2, he even has Zilla 2 um, and Nisande as a healer. So and a buffer you gotta be careful and mindful of, of these compositions because there's no it's very hard for you to win those it's very very hard because he has both a front line a healer a very very good dps so uh, you gotta take uh, take care with, with those fights so uh, let me show you really quickly how i geared my hex and my valyria which are the most important hex currently is in nothing crazy is uh, in a broken set with a little bit over the crit cap and uh, 150 crit damage i mean i would love some more crit damage and maybe the hex um, hex specific artifact but spirit siphon works as of right now and my valyria is in a flux pendant not even fully upgraded it's still to be fully upgraded and even it, she's in uh, she's in uh, an assault bound arcana you would ideally want valyria to be in an in, in a vulnerable set like this uh, but unfortunately this is what works best for her considering my gear so far um with every what the um, in case you don't know what the soulbound arcana does is with every ultimate cast uh, with every ultimate cast the damage increases permanently by 10 percent and you can stack that up stacking stack up that uh, up to five, five times so up to 50 percent damage increase uh that's not ideal for her you would want an infernal roar but this works so far decently let's say so uh, yeah um, I hope this was helpful. I hope uh, you can find some useful information from this video. You can copy my lineup and the strategy that I use. Uh, this can work, of course, even better in uh, in uh, lower in uh, lower elos, in platinum or downwards. 
And uh, the lower you go, the less um, you need a multitude of heroes. For example, this strategy can work in... I've seen it work in Platinum 3 and 2 only with Valyria, so you don't even necessarily need to do anything else. You can just time Valyria well enough and the win is yours. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you would like me to talk about something else specifically or you have any questions, feel free to ask away in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, let me uh, help me get to 100 subscribers, that would be amazing for me. I'm a new YouTuber, if you have any, any inquiries or who knows, any suggestions, make sure to, to let me know. And uh, yeah, this has been Andy, Event Horizon Gaming, bye bye.